We have waterborne diseases like typhoid. Ano? Ang typhoid, ito yung nakukuha sa mga sinasasawa ng fishbowl. Kakain, sawsaw, kain, sawsaw. Cholera is a viral infection para typhoid fever. Basilary dysentery. Basilary is an ano to, uh, bacteria. Viral infections like hepatitis A, yung viral infection coming from human waste. For example, kumain ka ng raw food sa Japanese restaurant. However, the chef did not wash his hands after using the toilet. Na-contaminate mo, na mo yung food mo ng hepatitis A. You will have ano, hepatitis A, poliomyelitis. And did you know that there are some doctors, they do not advocate for your vaccine? That's the problem, ano? I have heard some people, they are not advocating polio vaccine. But however, yung polio is almost gone in our uh, country already. We have amoebic dysentery, amoebiasis. Yung amoebiasis, even you, if you cook your food 100 degrees Celsius, sometimes this amoebiasis, this amoeba, they have cysts which are resistant to high temperature. Amoebiasis is one of those common diseases caused by a parasite which infects the bowel causing a type of gastroenteritis or infection of the gastrointestinal tract and they are very invasive. That's why patients with amoebiasis, they have bloody stools and abdominal pain. Their diagnosis is not very common. It's also a parasite, not bacteria. They can cause, ano, itong their diagnosis hindi masyadong common. I don't know why. May kita ko lang to sa mga children, but not among adults. We have different sources of noise pollution. Yan. Stressful living yan. Mahirap. Effects on humans, hearing loss, cardiovascular effects, stress, annoyance, cognitive development. That's why, yung stress na to, we should support our body by increasing our immune system uh, activities by using the right supplements. Again, soil pollution. Yeah. Control of soil pollution by reusing or recycling products from the environment. Now, we go to our immune system. Common health problem because of uh, poor immune system, cancer, infection, and we have known the hidden dangers of foods. The root of the disease of diseases, inflammation, the root of most diseases, you know all of this, coming from fried foods. Ano, ang hirap ng pagkain natin. Uh, unless we have the, ano, the discipline of Dr. Rico Santos, no, medyo, ano, most of us, probably, most of our country men, they are not, ano, eh, particular about foods. Basta, anything delicious, they eat. That's a big problem in our culture. Red meat is all, sometimes we eat red meat. We are exposed to our environment. The fact remains, we need to boost our immunity. So, do you want to be more healthy? The answer is, of course, yes. Do you want to be more energetic? The answer is yes. If I want to be more energetic, I take excess tablet. 
As a matter of fact, I took an excess tablet two days ago because I have so many, I had so many activities two days ago. Do you want to live longer? Okay, if you want to live longer, sabi nga ni Dr. Rico Santos, stay healthy with good weight, no? slim body, with good foods and good exercises. Now, with good immunity and proper supplements, we can increase our macrophages activity inside the body. What are macrophages? Macrophages are white blood cells. They are the Pacmans inside our body. They like to eat antigens, foreign substances, cancer cells, bacteria, viruses. And if you increase your supplements, you improve your immunity, there will be an increased macrophage activity. So, yan, Pacman. Yan. Like, uh, ano yan, like, a, like an octopus eating the shells in the sea. Another one, with proper immunity and proper supplements, you can elevate the activity of natural killer cells. Natural killer cells are white blood cells also. Hindi sila kumakain. What it does, this cancer cell, uh, this natural killer cell will attach to the foreign body, to the virus, to the bacteria, and this natural killer cell will inject substances to these invading organisms. Yeah, natural killer cells, white blood cells. Yeah. They target the cell and inject substances. Another thing is good immunity promotes increase in the levels of cytokine. Cytokines are very good messenger substances inside our body. It is like the text. You know, pag nagte-text ka, you send messages. Cytokines are messenger substances. It increases the activities of our immune system. Parang sa yung uh, nagkakalat, Oy, meron na tayong mga ano rito, meron na tayong mga viruses, pumunta na kayo dito. Those are cytokines. And of course, another white blood cell is dendritic cell. Supplements was able to increase the number of dendritic cells and their activities. Ano yung dendritic cells? Dendritic cells are white blood cells. What they do is this. There are foreign uh, substances, viruses, bacteria. They hold these bacteria, these viruses, they hold them, ano? and then this will be presented to the natural killer cells. Para hindi na mahirapan yung natural killer cells maghanap, they grab these substan substances, then offer it to the natural killer cells. And the good thing about dendritic cells, we can find them in our nose, in our skin, lungs, stomach, intestines. The benefits of supplementation increases macrophages, the Pacmans, elevates activities of natural killer cells, the injector of substances, increases level of cytokines, the messenger substances, and increases dendritic cells. They are called sentinel cells. Sila yung pinaka-guard. 